during the expansion of the Roman Empire, the religious customs of various cultural groups were not all disregarded by Rome, but became merged with their own pantheon. Roman deities were paired together with regional gods, a process known as syncretism. A good example is syncretism can be found at the remains of a temple dedicated to Sulis Minerva at Bath in Somerset, United Kingdom. The local Britons believed that the goddess Sulis presided over these springs. Although the origin of Sulis is unclear, Roman documentation suggests the deity was purely local and dated to at least the Iron Age. After the invasion of Britain in AD 43, the location of Bath was used by the Romans as an access in the military communications network. The Romans would have been immediately aware of the hot springs, their importance to the local Dabuni tribe and their deity, Sulis, that presided over them. The Romans believed that the deities they encountered were the same as those belonging to their own pantheon, and different in name only. As the empire expanded, the Romans paired their gods by their similarities to those of the local deities, a process termed by Tacitus as Interpretatio Romana. But as early as AD 50, the Romans had started to construct a large temple and bathing complex utilising the hot springs. The springs were considered to have healing properties, and the Romans paired Sulis with Minerva, their goddess of medicine. The joint name and sharing of religious practices in the temple were implemented to help the difficulties in language and culture and to bring social cohesion. Religious tolerance was, however, that of the victor, and syncretism was not benign integration, but rather a colonial act of Roman power. Worshipping at the temple would have been regarded as showing loyalty to Rome, and positions within the cult may have been given to members of the local aristocratic families in reward for their dedication. Evidence on a pediment found during excavations suggests a certain level of local influence contributed to the iconography on the temple's main entrance. The pediment was of classical style, but at the centre was carved a large gorgon's head of a different design. Supporting the head are two winged victories with an owl and dolphin that symbolise Minerva. The gorgon's head is believed to represent Sulis. And with the... That's all, folks!